Hi guys, it's Granny Turner speaking. Welcome to this FS25 equipment video. Let's go on with the machines of the week. And today we have a mixed brand day. Yeah, let's be happy to have a mixed brands. I find it quite interesting that we have um, so many one brand days in this week. Yeah, this is from the manufacturer Prenote. It's the SF900. Maybe it's called Prenote. I don't know where where this uh, manufacturer is located. Therefore, I don't know how to pronounce it. And this is a stump cutter or a stump grinder. And you need a tractor with at least 90 horsepower. And you need it to um, grind the stumps away after, after you cut a tree and to yeah, to get rid of the stump and then you can do something else with the ground. And this is an important tool for forestry. And here we have the manufacturer Zalek. And Zalek is a manufacturer from the Czech Republic and they produce quite a lot of different very, very small equipments. Very cute. And we got it in FS22 as a um, free update after a while. Suddenly this brand came into the game with a bunch of uh, very tiny small equipments. And yeah, that was very much appreciated because we had a bunch of small tractors already in the base game and from Antonio Carraro as well. And therefore, we needed um, tools that were um, happy with little horsepower. And now, in FS25, as far as we have the equipment list already, there are not so many very small tractors. I, I think only this very strange New Holland, which is propelled by methane. This is a small one, but other than that, uh, they are all normal sized. Or those big Antonio Carrajo, they are small in size, but with nearly 100 horsepower, they could work with normal equipment. So I would wish for some vintage tractors then we can make good use of those very nice tiny equipment parts by Zalek. And what I also would like to have is a sewing machine that can work with, let's say, 20 horsepower, because Zalek doesn't produce uh, sewing machines. I visited their website. They have all kinds of stuff, but no sewing machine. So now let's go on. It's the AKP 122, a subsoiler, and you only need 20 horsepower. Can you imagine? The working width is 1.2 meters. And then we have a trailer, it's the ANS 1900, and the capacity is 1600 liters. That doesn't sound much for farm sim. But if you imagine it in reality, if you would have such a trailer in your backyard, you would think, I have a big trailer. And another Salek, the MUL1000, it's a Malsha, and it, you need 12 horsepower, and the working width is tiny, one meter. And here, this is a new one. We didn't have this in FS22, but we had rather similar fertilizer spreaders in the motor, several of them. And it's a vintage type of fertilizer spreader, but they are still produced by Salek. So if you have a very tiny farm with tiny fields and such, you can still buy this type of fertilizer spreader. It's the RZK300H. 
and the working width is 14 meters and the capacity is 300 liters. I really like those tiny machines and I wish so much for a small tiny sewing machine and then for some tractors and then I will experiment with my tiny little farm. And now it's bigger again. It's the Vedastat a disc arrow, the Carrier XL 625. Uh, you need 260 horsepower and the working width is 6.3 meters. And another Vedastat NZ Extreme 1425 and the required power is 400 horsepower, not too shabby, and the working width is 14.3 meters. And here we have a new way to start. Uh, it's the Rexius 1230. It's a roller. And you use this after sawing to roll your field. And the required power is 120 horsepower and the working width is 12.3 meters. And in the first fact sheets that we got, there were at least two mistakes. They had a capacity and the possibility to saw sugar beet and canola with it. But this is not true for this roller. I was already wondering, wow, a roller that can saw sugar beets, why not? Yeah, you can't. And I think the required power was wrong as well. So I hope those are the right uh, facts about this machine. Yeah, they they made corrections uh, one after the other in our partner Discord, and I already had recorded my my news of the week video, and I thought, oh, hmm, oops. Yeah, but now this is the right information. Okay. And that's about it for today. I wish you a wonderful day. Thank you for watching and all the best. Till next time. Tschüss.